For most players, travelling is the bane of their lives, but not for Farnham Town today. Their Step 6 Combined Counties game is not on the M25 corridor, but instead straddling the French mainland. And it's against table toppers Jersey. So after a six hour transit involving trains, planes and automobiles, they've arrived in St Helier, now English football's most southern outpost. And what's more, it hasn't cost them a penny. Jersey have paid for the lot. So we pay for the visiting teams to come over along with the, the referees and their assistants. Um, and again, if they have to incur an overnight stay, then we have to put them up as well. So, you know, the costs uh, vary, but, uh, you know, the first game of the season was in the height of the season in Jersey's tourism season. Uh, and we played Ash United and it cost north of five and a half thousand pounds to bring them over for one single fixture. Two years ago, we sat down, we knew that the island had been blocked going down the UEFA route and competing as a nation. And we thought, what else is there? We looked at what's going on in other islands around Europe and entering national leagues we thought that's got to be the next step for Jersey we do it in rugby we do it in netball let's offer it to the football players indeed island rivals Guernsey did the same over eight years ago and we were there to film it in fact I was even given a return ticket we looked on from from the outside really envious that they were going to do it so a lot of our players better players were a little frustrated with local football so it's needed this new challenge. Um, I'm delighted it's come along. Maybe too late for one or two, but for all the youngsters coming through, there's somewhere now to win. Football's the most popular sport on the island. Uh, we did our research. We went around, spoke to players, a lot of the top players on the island, and they basically said, "This is what they want. This is what they're, they're dreaming about." The last two captains of Jersey actually thought about moving couldn't believe it to Guernsey to play for Guernsey because they're desperate to play in the National League system so not surprised at all that the island's got behind it but it's brilliant it's great for the island and we're, we're delighted how well it's going. It's ultimately it's a great test right now but you'll have some players that have aspirations to move on and obviously hopefully we can provide the platform for them and ultimately at the same time it is just the pinnacle for a lot of players here and something that you know we're proud to do. The home games are the easy ones for the Bulls it's the away games that are hard work the players will have to fly to the mainland during the day, get a coach to the game, play the game, get a coach back to Gatwick Airport, stay a few hours in a hotel and then get on the first flight in the morning to fly back so they arrive fresh for work. It's quite difficult, obviously, logistically, travelling to the mainland. The last one, for instance, we had half a dozen who couldn't travel for various work commitments. So we did go with a big squad at the start of the season, knowing, you know, going from a 20 game a season league in Jersey to suddenly to a 40 odd game in the UK, it was going to need a, a number of players with a big commitment. So. It all worked out okay. How big's your squad? We actually signed about 30, 33 players on. Realistically, we've, we've kept it around a 20, 22 sort of mark and managed that. But um, occasionally we have had to go right deep into it. Yes, we've probably used about 30 players this season. Do you have to have players on the mainland as well, just in case? How does it work? No, no, there's a big enough pool here. And we're quite lucky with the resources and the talent on the island to compete. And I think it's great that we kind of keep it in-house for the moment. Is it sustainable, this, paying for other teams to come over all the time? No, absolutely. I wouldn't have got involved if I didn't think it was sustainable. There's no uh, sort of benefactor behind the scenes with a pot of money. Um, you know, it all comes from a lot of corporate sponsorship. Uh, we have days like this where we can raise some money uh, as well. So we've got 70 guests in here today. Um, again, we do fundraising. Um, but yeah, we've all got to pull together to raise in a region of, you know, £260,000 a year just to break even. Now, I know what you're thinking. They've got plenty of money in Jersey. Yeah, there is some stereotypes about Jersey. Oh, well, they think we're all rich, but we're not. <laughs> I'm sure you're that. You get the odd comments from the other clubs that we're the big spenders, but the budget purely goes on travel expenses unfortunately no one at the club is on a paid role so it's all it's all for the love of the game they're an ambitious bunch on the island as well they want to go as far as the football league no ball you all right Genuinely, we think it is sustainable. Uh, we also think that there's ways of making extra extra money. We want to we want to climb the leagues, um, and we don't know how high it can be. But obviously, the higher you go, traditionally you need a little bit more cash as well. As far as I'm aware, that the board haven't put a limit on it, so they would like to go as high as possible, which is great. I would like to go as far as I can take them for the next couple of years, and if they're still going, and in ten years' time, it'd be brilliant to see a professional team playing over here. I'll be quite happy sitting in this stand watching it. Yeah. Now, it wouldn't be in the spirit of Soccer Saturday, would it, if we didn't shoehorn in a needless perfunctory into Channel Island's jibe at Matt Letissier. We'd just like to pass this on to Jeff uh, in the studio, if he could take that. This is, uh, thank you very much, thank you. Um, extra top. large as well, I'm extra sure you'll like that. Yeah. Beautiful, um, thank you. Actually, we've also got this top as well. This is uh, for us, uh, Mr. Letitia. This is, um, I think this is double XL. So if you could pass that on as well, I'm sure we'd be delighted to have it. I'm sure he'll love that and wear it all the time, all right? And it, <laughs> that'll be popular in Guernsey. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I know you're unhappy about the shirt thing, Letitia, so don't worry, I've made up for it. I've signed for Farnham. <laughs> not that I would have made a blind bit of difference. I'm not saving that.
Nearly a thousand fans witnessed the 17th consecutive win this season as the Bulls are romping to the league title, barely conceding a goal on the way. For the visitors, their one-off international away day has come to an end. But for the Jersey Bulls, taking to the skies is a regular occurrence. Thankfully for them, they're not doing too bad. In fact, they're absolutely flying. <laughs>